Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello! And we're going to talk about saving and loading files in Blender, because in mm -hmm. Blender it's a little bit different if, than the Mac or Windows user interface. So, pop open Blender, and let's say we wanted to save this file. Go under File, Save. Notice that it's Control W mm -hmm. in order to save a file. And then you can select your location. P is for parent directory, so if I clicked on P, it would bring me back up to the admin directory there. I'll just save this to the desktop. Mm -hmm. um, so is so you do control W instead of control S, right? Right. Right. That's right. And I, I think of it as uh, you're writing a file, and the word write starts with a W. That's the way I remember it. So we'll just call this junk. We could call it junk.blend, but it'll go ahead and add the extension. I'll do save. Notice I clicked once and nothing happened. Well, actually something did happen. This field lost focus. So we left focus here, and now we can actually click on this button. And then I happen to have a file already called junk blend. So it asks to overwrite it. Now watch, when I do control W, like let's say I, I change this file and I do control W, It'll say save over. You'll get that every time when you save a Blender file is that it'll ask if you want to save over the old one. And just go ahead and click that or hit enter. So uh, another thing, when you do uh, look at this window, it's really different than uh, what you might be used to. Right now we're viewing by name. You can also view by extension, time, file size. Now when we're looking at time, you're like, hey, where? I can't, I can't see the time. Well, go ahead and click on this and you'll see the long listing. So there you see the, the, the file size and the, uh, the date and time. So that's another thing. And then this over here, this is so that if you wanted to view it full screen. But that might be a little bit confusing when you uh, uh, go and look at the uh, uh, files and you go to open them. So you select it. So let's say we're going to open mouse and blend. Click on that and open. And one more thing I wanted to show. I'm going to go ahead and open a new file. Erase all. That's okay. And I'm going to show opening uh, images, loading images. So I'm going to just split this for now and look at the image editor and an image is a separate file so when you're managing that file you're going to have your own open, new and when, once you have one open you'll see a save here as well so you need to remember to do that separately so let's say if I want to open an image I can just click open and it's the same type of thing here that we're looking at mm -hmm. but it's, it happens to be in this window Notice it's in this window as opposed to we had the whole window open. Uh, there is a cool thing that Blender has, and they really improved the performance with 2.46, is if, if when you go to open, press down the control key when you click open, and then you can see uh, images. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that part. Then click on one to select it, and you'll see the name up there. Click open. And there you go. Oh, another thing that's kind of cool. Let's do, let's hold the control key, open. You can actually open movies. So if I click on this guy and open that movie, you'll see you can click play. But you'll notice, gee, I don't, I don't see the movie playing. Hit escape. Under view. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not under view, is it? Hit N. And what we can do under N, click Auto Refresh. N is for image properties. I got Auto Refresh click now. Then when you press play, you can actually watch a little movie right there. Pretty neat. Mm-hmm. I like that. All right. Thanks a lot.